Welcome back to the today's session. A beautiful and marvelous morning dear children. How are you all? I hope you are fine. I wish you all to be safe at home by the grace of God. Children, previous class what do you have studied can anyone see yeah you have studied about matter then states of matter and also you have learnt some properties of solid liquid and gas isn't it do you remember that I hope you are remembering that, isn't it? Yeah. Now let's move to the today's session. Children, today we are going to learn about properties of matter in a detailed way. Okay. We will see one by one. Children, shall we do? One small activity. Yeah. Take one pencil. Be ready children. Are you ready? Yeah. Children. Take the pencil. And hold it. In your left hand. Now. Press the pencil. With your right hand fingers. Children, press the pencil with your right hand fingers. How do you feel now? Is the pencil hot? Say yes or no children. Yeah, good. Yes. The pencil is hot. Pencil is a solid. So, it is hot. First, we are going to learn about solids. Children, previous class, what do you have learnt about solids? Can anyone say? Solid, one of the three basic states of matter. Solid is rigid. It has fixed shape and fixed volume isn't it very good children solids are things that have a definite shape and volume they occupy a fixed space the particles in solids are packed very tightly so they cannot move freely solids are objects that keep their own shape and do not flow in a given temperature. The shape of the solid can be changed only when we break or cut them. Okay, some examples for solids. A book, box, apple, rose, stone. Bricks, biscuit, table, chair. Children, these are some examples for solids. 